everybody, my name is Drew Alexandra and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be veganizing a recipe by Marcus Samuelson. He is a cook, I've seen his videos on Tasty, and this video popped up recently and I thought, hey, that looks hella interesting, I need it in my body, but I don't eat chicken. So the recipe is chocolate fried chicken inspired by Mexican mole sauce, which is traditionally done with like a dark chocolate and different spices and it looks amazing. So. That is what we're gonna get into today. Before we get started, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put up videos every Saturday. Let's get into veganizing chocolate fried chicken. To start the recipe, I started this last night and you have to make a brine with salt and water by mixing boiling water with salt and then flashing it with ice water to cool it down and then you put your chicken wings in the brine and let it sit for an hour. I used tofu and cauliflower. While that was sitting for an hour, we made Made our marinade, our buttermilk marinade. So when you make vegan buttermilk, you combine a non-dairy milk with an acid and it thickens it up like a buttermilk. I used soy milk and a bit of uh, rice vinegar and I mixed that together. The recipe then calls for coconut milk, so I added that as well and chicken shake, which is Marcus's house blend of spice. I didn't have everything, but I had most of the things. So in the chicken shake, there's something called bear bear, which I did not have. Uh, Cosmo paprika, ground cumin, white pepper, celery salt, granulated garlic, and salt. So I put most of those and a few substitutions into that mix and I stirred it together. Then you strain everything from your brine, add it to your marinade and let it sit overnight. So here we are today. That was a bit of a uh, lead up to this recipe, but let's get into the recipe. You're gonna be needing six grams of butter, two cloves of garlic, 150 grams of shallots, black peppercorns, allspice, dried oregano, ground cumin, ancho chili powder. I have a New Mexico hot chili powder, chicken stock, I don't have chicken stock, I have a veggie stock today, quarter beer, Mexican chocolate, but I read, because I could not find Mexican chocolate anywhere, so I read that you could use semi-sweet chocolate and dark cocoa powder, so I'm gonna use that. An extra nub of butter and honey. I'm gonna use something else sweet, probably like agave or a simple syrup. Let's get into the recipe. All right, so I'm gonna start by chopping my shallots and dicing my garlic, so let's get started with that. chopping those up I just put them into the pot with our butter and we're just gonna let them simmer for a while and cook down. Next we're gonna add our spices, vegetable stock, and porter. For our batter for the fried chicken. We're going to need two cups of all-purpose flour, one quarter cup of semolina flour, which I could not find, and two tablespoons of cornstarch and one tablespoon of white pepper. So I just have white pepper corn, so I'm gonna grind those up. And I'm gonna add probably double the amount of cornstarch because we don't have the semolina flour that's supposed to make it extra super crispy. So I'm gonna do that. continuing to simmer here, so I'm going to add our vegetable oil just to a wide pan. I'm just gonna do a shallow fry, not a full deep fry. So the next part, we're going to add our 60 grams of Mexican chocolate, but as I previously said, I could not find Mexican chocolate. So we're gonna add in our semi-sweet chocolate and our dark chocolate cocoa powder and our simmering mixture on the stove into this blender. So this bag is 250 grams, so I'm just gonna add a smidge of this. I don't know. I'm adding this many chocolate chips. Okay. So divide that by four. Well, it was already open, so. Okay. Um, this is Elijah, by the way. I told you about him earlier. Yeah, hi. I told them that you were like um, a super culinary expert. Super culinary expert. Yeah, and then you'd super know what uh, chicken wings taste like. Oh, I know. In order to wings. compare. Yeah. This is Elijah. No, battery exhausted. <laughs> battery died on me again. But I was in the middle of adding the dark cocoa powder. So uh, I'm going to add like two tablespoons. 
This is just like Earth Balance butter. It also called for honey, but I think the chocolate is sweet enough. All right, and I'm gonna put this back on the stove in the same pot we were using before. All right, let me in here. But this is like, like way more runny. This looks like chocolate milk. You want to stir it? This is not what his looks like. So I'm gonna try a tofu one. So you just drip it off and then toss it in the flour and cornstarch mixture and then pop it in the oil. taking these out now and we're just going to put them on this little pan thing there so they can drip off the rest of the oil. Then we're going to toss them in our chocolate sauce and serve them up. And I can't wait. Are you I, excited? Yeah, I am. I have full faith in these. You know, usually deep fried food and chocolate go hand in hand. When we're up here. Yeah. Oh yeah. I let those cook for 8 minutes and 45 seconds. The recipe says 12 minutes but you're cooking raw chicken and I felt like we didn't need like the full. 12 minutes. So, let's toss these. Yeah, so we made ourselves three of the tofus and two of the cauliflowers. These look like chicken. Those look like, like chicken wings. Like yeah. chicken wings, like chicken uh, strips, chicken fingers. Yeah. Oh, crispy golden. Little crispy golden nugget. All right, I don't know how much of this sauce to put on here. Good. Wow. All right, let's plate these up. Show. This is my pale beige kitchen. Shut up. <laughs> the food is here. It's ready. What are they, Drew? Tell me. Okay, so today we have a deep fried cauliflower and tofu chicken wing tossed in a Mexican chocolate mole sauce. So what are these supposed to like resemble? Like, They're supposed this? to be like fried chicken. Fried chicken. From this chef called Marcus. Where's it originate from? I don't remember. There's a whole video on it. It's a great right. video, but it's linked in the description box below. Well, but I want to try these. It smells good, yeah. Yeah, they smell amazing. Okay, do you want to try the cauliflower one first or the uh, tofu? Tofu. I'm doing the tofu. Is it tofu? Yeah, that's the tofu. This is the tofu one. Let's try that. Cheers. Cheers to that. It's a little bitter. I've never had mole before, so. Okay. Now cauliflower? This is what I'm gonna These like. held the batter less than the, like the batter's falling off, All right? Oh, that's good. Mmm. There we go. I like that flavor a lot better. That's a lot better, yeah. Like a lot better. The tofu kind of takes away from the chocolate flavor. Mmm. But this is good. Even though we marinated the tofu, it's still... This, the cauliflower holds it better. Yeah, dang. You can really taste like the earthy, like... Yeah, the earthy spice that you mm. use the chocolate. Okay. Yeah. So try the chocolate sauce on its own. Beauty, beauty. Like, on its own, it's kind of gross. I kind of hate it on its own. I don't hate it, but it's almost like a sauce that... went wrong. Yeah, <laughs> something <laughs> is weird. You can, it went wrong and you... You couldn't get it back. It's like full Mexican, like at the very beginning, but you can really taste it. It almost tastes like a refried bean sauce at the beginning, and then like, then the chocolate. Then it's really bitter. Then it's bitter, and then it's hot. Like, I'm, it's like hot in my mouth, and my throat's burning. Yeah, I, where's, where's I don't the, like that at all. Where's the spice from? Uh, it's a, a hot chili pepper. Okay, nice. So. Welcome back to our beige kitchen. I like this lighting. Thanks, they bought it for me. Yeah, it's great. Uh, okay, yeah, so final thoughts. I hate the sauce. Hate it. I think it's really gross. Yeah. Um, if I were to <laughs> make the rest of the fried things for dinner, I'd probably like double fry them maybe to make them crispy because he does suggest that in part of his video. Yeah. 
but for this recipe he doesn't call for it. Hey guys, apparently mole sauce is very difficult to like get on point, so I don't think it was my fault. I think it's just like a really difficult sauce. Um, I still stand by it though, that was disgusting. However, I did just fry up the chicken and I ate mine with marinara sauce and like a salad on the side. Nick, my boyfriend, made like an Asian style sauce to like dip with it um, and they were really freaking good, like really good. So if anything comes from this video, try that fried chicken. I took the marinated chicken, put it in our flour, put it back in the dredge, and then put it back in the flour, and it was so freaking crispy, it was amazing. So, make that. I will insert a photo right here of what that looked like because it was everything. Anyway, back to the video. Yeah, okay, so I would give the tofu out of 10 a six. If it was fried a little crunchier, I think I would have liked it better. And then for the, what would you give the uh, tofu? Tofu, I would say a solid six. Solid okay. six is yeah, good. Yeah, six is good. And uh, then the cauliflower, I'd probably give a seven and a half. Seven and a half? I liked the flavor on it better. <laughs> I think if we took our time, redid it, put a little more effort to the sauce, the marinating was good. If we both fried it a little slower, put some more time into it, I think we can get our seven to an eight, and then from our six to a seven. Yeah. I think so. If we had a little bit more time. Overall though, follow the recipe, and you should just get a good, yeah. just get a good sauce. I tried to veganize it, right? So, right. it wasn't the exact same. I don't think that it was the fact that it was vegan that was the problem. I just think that I don't care for, for the flavors. All right, I think that's it for today's video. Thanks for having me. Yeah, everybody, thank Elijah. Comment down below if you have a brother. <laughs> <laughs> Who likes to cook? Uh, yeah, uh, follow him on Instagram. It'll be linked in the description box below. He loves food and uh, we love him. So uh, that's good. yeah, make sure to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put out videos every Saturday. See you next week back in the beige kitchen. That's my sister Drew. We got cauliflower bites. We got tofu mole. It's where it's at. All right, we're, <laughs> we're going now. <laughs> Bye. Bye.